Check in with Richard, who is uh, talking restaurant week again. Oh, yeah. This is uh, one of our favorite times. Uh, we've got pork chops going on right now. Johnny Magno from the District Poor House joins us now. We've got so many things. Uh, it all smells great. Johnny, oh, thank you so first much. of all, thanks. thanks what are we starting with here? Um, we have some direct pork chops. I have them pre brined right here. I'm going to go ahead and uh, start toasting some of my aromatics. I have black peppercorns, pink peppercorns, some allspice. Uh, bay leaves and some cinnamon sticks. And this is just for the flavoring. Oh yeah, yeah. For, for afterwards. Okay, uh -huh. gotcha. Yeah, uh, we're boiling some water, adding salt and sugar, mm -hmm. and then throwing all these aromatics. The pork chop's going to sit overnight, or you can do 48 hours for maximum gotcha. flavor. And really? also doing some onions and rosemary and some garlic. Going to throw that in there. Too. Not too complex. Uh, so, and then the pork chop goes on the. Um, uh, yes, yes. Um, after we brine them, mm -hmm. uh, we pat them dry. And then we're just gonna pan sear them real quick. Sure. While we're doing yeah. this restaurant week, you guys have been doing this for a couple years now. Uh, this will be our second year doing restaurant week. How much fun is it? Oh, it's so much fun, and we're we're providing for five great charities, mm -hmm. just helping and supporting the community. And so, yeah. this is lunch and dinner. People, if people want, they can come get lunch and dinner. Absolutely. Lunch is fifteen dollars, if I'm not mistaken. Dinner is thirty-three bucks. Yes, that's correct. Uh, three course for lunch and a three course for dinner. Uh, for dinner, we're doing a steak Oscar. Uh, our bayou salmon with uh, etouffee on top, and the, we're doing this pork chop that I'm showing you right now. How long does it take to cook once uh, it's going? You know, 145 degrees, medium rare for a pork chop. Mm -hmm. That's usually uh, how, how I like it. No, no, um, no overcooked pork chops in this. I'm gonna flip this guy. These guys are toasting right here. Oh, you got everything working at once. Here. Oh yeah. And, and uh, like all the restaurants here, you guys have created this menu specifically for restaurants. So Absolutely. customers who've gone there yes. before, this is something new for even uh, you know loyal customers. Oh yeah. Uh -huh. Oh my gosh, it smells just delicious. Thank you. You so mix much. it with potatoes by the time everything's done, correct? Uh huh. What? Uh, uh, I have uh, garlic roasted potatoes on the bottom. Um, the vegetables we have it's a root vegetable hash. They're parsnips, sweet potatoes, um, carrots. Uh, usually we add Brussels sprouts as well. Um, lots of fresh herbs, fresh herbs everywhere. Pine, rosemary. It just yeah, looks delicious it. there. It yeah. smells wonderful, especially, cool. you know, those smell a lot more than I had, uh, would think they would. Oh, yeah. And the absolutely. rosemary there, put everything together. Mm -hmm. You guys are also known for a lot of your drinks. Oh, yes, absolutely. We have 32 infused um, liquors, um, brown sugar, pecan bourbon, which I have over here. That's going to be incorporated in the sauce we have. Uh, one of our big favorites is pineapple jalapeno vodka. Mm -hmm. It's fantastic for. A Sunday morning in the Bloody Mary. <laughs> Sounds delicious. Johnny, thanks for coming in this morning. It's a restaurant so week. It starts it. next weekend. We'll have more coming up in just a bit.